Well, you know what they say, being two minutes late is fine, unless you're taking a pregnancy test. But anyway, happy, what, what day is it? Is it Wednesday? Happy Wednesday, everybody. I hope everybody's having a great evening. Go ahead and switch this over to the game. It is playoff craziness going on here. And yes, I am two minutes late. I am okay with that. It is a Wednesday stream, not normal. But uh, we are going to do that tonight because I'm trying to get these playoffs through before EA invades my computer and takes it over. But we will see. I've not uploaded the conference semifinals yet on YouTube. That will probably go up this weekend. That was against the Kyoto Blowfish. Spoiler, we won that series and we moved on in the playoffs. If the playoffs were today, which they are, <laughs> the one and two seeds of both sides have advanced. And over on the Yankee Conference, the Manitoba Moose, the one seed demolished, demolished, utterly destroyed. It looks like my prom date. 12 to nothing to take a 1-0 lead. And you just got to ask yourself, will the Louisville Cyclones bounce back from that? Will they be able to come back from a 12 nothing loss and make it a series? That's what you got to think about. We are about to find out in our first game. We have our youngster, the rookie on the mound, Yusuf Stark. Last year, Colton Conrad, the rookie, carried us through the playoffs. Will Yusuf Stark do the same thing tonight? The lefty has to go up against the Birmingham Buzzard, who won a 3-2 series against the Darlington Dirt Dogs. A back-and-forth series that finally was decided in that final game in an 8-3 fashion. The Drakes are better rested, coming off a three-game sweep of the Kyoto Blowfish. The Blowfish just ran out of steam at the end of the season. They can only muster four total runs in three games. But a new series, a new slate, anything can happen. And the Birmingham Buzzard are loaded. At third base, they have Thick Real King. One of their relievers is Johnny Morlock. Their stars, first baseman Zeros McBirthday, who played on the Larry Ballers once upon a time, and the former Drake himself, Anoni Drake, at catcher. This game, this series, will be a big one. The stream title is a huge spoiler. Huge. I love people that try to do spoilers in their YouTube videos. And it's like, I, I looked at the thumbnail, man. I know what's going on. But we are here. May is halfway over. Tomorrow, I'm going to try to record my four-year sub thing for this stream. So the script is written. I've just got to do it, and I've got to shrink it down to 30 seconds. So we'll see what happens. But that is not tonight. Tonight is the conference championship. You can see down there that Zero's McBirthday is their most notable player. Birch and Colt also. We've got Z, we've got Travis, and we've got Sky Rodriguez, who's a little tense. We really need Sky to wake up. She has not hit a home run here in the playoffs, and we need some. We will need runs against the Birmingham Buzzard, as you see there. They are extremely misleading. They say they're extreme speed demons, but their power, their power is maxed out. So not only can they hit the ball far, they can run and they can play defense. You might even say that they are a better better team than we are tonight they send up hannah hogswind on the mound she's got a 476 era in the playoffs yusuf stark has not pitched yet in the playoffs if we go look at their season to see what these players have done yusuf went eight and one this season with a 362 era he held the opponents to 200 and 200, 283 average, 49 strikeouts. He did walk eight runners as a rookie. He's still trying to learn. He did give up nine home runs, one complete game, one shutout. Looking at Hannah. She is their number two. So we've got our number four versus their number two. 
She went three and five this season with a 478 ERA. 264 average, so on paper, she is better. She also had 52 strikeouts and give up 10 home runs, 20 walks for her. So these pitchers, even though she's the number two, and we have our number four, they are very comparable. The difference is, is Hannah is not a rookie. She has been around the game for a while. She's 28 years of age. That is not the case for our pitcher, Yusuf Stark. So let's go ahead and start the lineups. You either win in advance or you go home. I think we'll put Zenus back out there in the lineup just to keep them since they have so much speed. We don't want them to steal. Stacy Sevens there is fine. Travis. We get keep his lefty bat. But again, I like bringing Sir Studs in the lineup too. So we're going to have to move them in and out just to see what happens. Um, so this could be interesting on that. So I think we'll stick with that. Other than that, Lethal, Sky, and Z leading off. Then Molo coming up next seems like a good. Our bench is solid. So let's head to it. We are the top seed, so we get the first two games at home. The Birmingham Buzzards trying to march to the first World Series here in Season 6. They've got to take on the defending champs, the Atlantic Drakes. Zero's McBirthday will be batting second. Thick Real King is fourth. Anoni batting eighth. Good gravy. But we will start out with Norbert Clark, Zero's McBirthday, and Bunt Birch. The conference championship starts right now. Now bat the right fielder, number 68. Norbert Clark batting 118 here in the playoffs. We'll see what Yusuf can do tonight. Those two great pitches so far. Thought he might reach, but I guess not. That's a ground ball. We'll take 27 of those. Stacy Sevens throws over, and that's a mojo drop. So out number one. Here is Zeros McBirthday batting Stone Cold Steve Austin. He's already knocked in four runs here in the playoffs. Happy birthday, indeed. Finally, Yusuf gets one in there. Oh, he gets him with a second one. Let's go high heat. Oh, and he got a little piece of it. Z on the run. And Z will make that catch for out number two. That will bring up Birch. Three home runs in the playoffs. Nine RBIs. He is definitely locked in. Let's see what the youngster can do going up against him. It's ground ball. Molo, she's going to march. The throw is in time, and that's a 1-2-3 start of the game for Yusuf. Yeah, Rise of Paper won a few. So Hannah Hogswind will take the mound. Lethal D feline, Sky Rodriguez, and Z is her, her start. See what Hannah brings to the plate. Lots of junk. That was a good pitch. Shouldn't have went for that one. I think Mustachio can make that throw, and he does one away. But that will bring up Sky Rodriguez. And Sky blasts that one, but I think it's going to be caught, and it is. Thurman Colt runs it down. It was a good pitch and a good swing on it. She just didn't get a good connection. And with two outs, that will bring Z up, and Hannah Hogswin could be out of this inning on three pitches. Z's going to soak a few of those up. Two and one. Three and one now. Walk Z. Oh, he shouldn't have swung at that. Now it's full count. Whoa! I did not mean to swing at that, and that is a strikeout, and Hogswind sets them down, and both pitchers start out great, and that will bring up Thick Real King, Rolf Borgnar, and Thurman Colt here. 
Big Real King. I wonder where he's at. He's been watching the videos on YouTube. Been hiding in the shadows here as of late. See if we can get him to chase the changeup. And we do! A marvelous pitch! Yusuf Stark points to his mom up in the crowd. They flew her in today for the game. To see her baby's first playoff start. And so far, he's doing well. There's a hard hit ball. That's going to get through for the first hit. So a runner on for the Birmingham Buzzards, and Thurman Colt will come up. It's fouled off, so 0-2. We get him to chase. And Stacy Sevens cannot handle it, and that's going to allow two runners on now with one out. Now batting the third baseman, Mario Mustachio. That's bad pitch. Ooh, okay. That was dangerous. I don't like when they hit so many of this, like here. Good pitch there, Yusuf. So two outs, two on, and that brings up a Noni Drake. One home run, one RBI here in the playoffs, going against his former team. Bad pitch. You don't want to walk him. Runner's going. Oh, he freezes him. He was frozen like Elza. We go to the bottom of the second. Molo, Travis the Unknown, and Stacy Sevens coming up to bat for the Atlantic Drakes here in the conference championship game one. Molo has been on kind of a hot streak. She does tend to put the team on her back during the playoffs. Good pitch there by Hogswind. There's a base hit up the middle and Molo is on. See what Travis can do here. I don't know if we'll be able to steal against the Noni. And Travis, that's a hard hit ball. It's going to the left fence. It is out of here. Put it on the board. A two run shot. And the Drakes go up. That was a frozen rope. 390 feet. Travis's first home run of the playoffs. And the Drakes go up 2 0 here in game one. That will bring up Stacy Sevens. Ooh. I thought about taking that down the line. Now she's 0-2. And that ball's hit really high, but I think she got a little too much air underneath it. Now we'll be out one. Norbert Clark on the catch. And we'll bring up least expected. Take strike one. That's hard hit, but right at Thick Real King, who'll glove that at second base. The two outs brings up Mr. Dependable, Zenus. He struggled here a little bit in the playoffs, but the nickname hence tells you what he does during the season. One and one to him. That ball's hit really well. It may find the gap, but Clark's on the run, and he... Oh, Colt, excuse me. Thurman Colt with the catch. Now to take us to the third. So a two-run shot by Travis the Unknown. Puts the Drakes in the lead here in game one. Turn of the order coming up for the Birmingham Buzzards. I think I've decided for controller-wise, the next controller I buy is going to be the one of the new PlayStation 5 controllers. I've heard that they're built a little bit more solid than uh, the Xbox controllers. So uh, we'll see how that runs. There's a ground ball. Stacy Seven's not going to be able to get to that. And the leadoff hitter is on. 
Sounds like you will rip through it anyway. Wow. Wow, Cayman. Thanks. There's another base hit. So the first two run batters are on. Now batting the first baseman, number 24. So that brings up Zeros McBirthday with two on, no outs. And he's going to get a base hit. And the bases all of a sudden are loaded. And now the rookie, Yusuf Stark, really going to have to concentrate. Bunt Birch up to bat. They get the runner at home and go to first. Uh, awkward one, two, three, double play. That will bring Thick Real King up. Still a chance to do some damage. Lots of speed on first or second and third. Hmm. Oh, this is bad. Ooh, that's bad pitch. Oh, he went for it. Least expected, may be able to get to this. And he does, and that's out three. Somehow Yusuf gets the bases loaded, gets out of the jam. And we go to the bottom of the third. He'll lead off with the top of the order following. Hey, Viking, congrats on the new kitten. I'm allergic to cats. They're cool outside and all, but not inside. See what Yusuf can do here. Hard hit ball, but right to Thick Real King. That's out number one. So that will bring up Lethal. The goddess of swing, as some will call her. One and one. Ooh, she's going up high. That's a hard hit ball, but Birch is right there for out number two. So that will bring up Sky Rodriguez. Sky See if she can get out of her funk. Ball's 0-2. Went after that one. Had to. It would have been strike three, so 0-2. That's a base hit for Sky up the middle. So a two-out single here. That will bring up Z. And you always love to have Z on base with runners on because anything can happen. And he pops that straight up 99 power. Perfect swing, just not located correctly. And Hogs Wind will get out without allowing a run. It's still 2 nothing. We head to the fourth. Borgnar, Colt, and Mustachio coming up to bat. Borgener. Yeah, it's always that weird. That was a terribly located pitch. Molo says she has it. Now batting the center fielder, Thurman Cole. Oh, that's a terrible pitch, too. Little control issues by Yusuf tonight. I hope that doesn't come back to haunt him. Oh, lethal. Lethal gonna have to play this one. She'll take it herself. Out number two. Now back, the third base. Mario Mustachio. That's a hard hit ball, but least expected plays it, and that is out number three. So a one, two, three, top of the fourth. Hogs win will come back out. It's so weird seeing Anoni in gold and green. Mother Love, Travis the Unknown, Stacy Sevens coming up the bat here. We are in game one. Of the conference championship. Oh, I should have went after that one. And Molo. Oh, and it's stolen by Bunt Birch. 
Oh, what a, what a, that's up for the Bandit King robbery of the week right there. Let's see what Travis do here. They almost hit him, two and one the count. Shouldn't have went after that one at all. And he'll strike out a perfectly paced pitch. That'll bring up Stacy Sevens with two outs now. And that's a base hit up the middle for her. Man, I need to play that Baron C some more. I miss that. And Stacy Sevens is going to challenge Anoni, and she's in there for the steal. Stacy Sevens. Marking her territory, but that is going to be caught for out number three, so no damage done. We go to the fifth inning. Anoni will be up first. Hannah Hogs win. Norbert Clark. Now batting the catcher, number 42. Uh, we'll probably finish the playoffs and then I'll do Oregon Trail too. That's popped up, so Molo should have this one. Uh, this weekend I'll be out of town on Sunday, I know for sure. Because my nephew is graduating high school. So, I, I'm trying not to plan too much ahead. What do we throw here? I thought she might go for that. I was wrong. She went for that. Nice. Yusuf is... He's doing well today. Usually I don't stream on Thursdays and Fridays. There's a line down the line. Oh, lethal. We'll toss the Yusuf. He holds on to it for out number three. Zenus comes up the bat, takes strike one. Ooh, almost swung at that one. Don't know why I went after that. That was probably ball two. That bring up Yusuf Stark with one out. Oh, that was a good pitch and I missed it. I'd love for him to rip one. He, oh, Birch! Birch with another miraculous defensive catch today. And that's going to bring up Lethal D. She is 0 for 2 today. Take ball one. You know. And that's going to be right to Birch. Good bounce there for him. And that's going to be a 1 2 3 bottom of the fifth. We'll go to the sixth. Still 2 0. Zero's McBirthday, Bunt, Birch, Thick, Real King. Tough part of the order due up here. It's a bad pitch. Stacy Sevens has it, though, and she will throw out Zero's, and he will take a mojo hit. We'll take that. That brings up Bunt, Birch. Like one in there. Anticipated that pitch, did he? Oh, that's a terrible one. I think that might have been in the strike zone up. We'll count pit. Oh, no. Oh, my Lord. Ump, get off your knees. 
So that brings up Thick Real King. And uh-oh, this hit is going to move the runners. So now with one out, there's runners on first and second. That brings up Borgenar. We'll get it. I don't think she can make that play. Nope, but we got the lead out runner. So two outs. Runners still on first and third. I'm just glad Sky come up with that. That'll bring up Thurman Colt, though. Thought about that. Ooh, that was a pitch. Let's see if we can get him to go for it. He popped it up. Lethal's calling for it. And we're going to head to the bottom of the sixth. Yusuf. Take and control of the game. Sky Rodriguez, Z, and Molo do up. Now the third Sky, Sky got a hit earlier. Let's see what she can follow that up with. One and one now. Two and one. And that's going to be ripped. Is it going to land? No. Norbert Clark gets to it. That will bring up Z. And Z, good contact swing, but I just don't think there's enough power behind it. And Colt will catch that with ease. Two away. That will bring up... That will bring up Molo. And Molo is going to line out to Birch. Now batting the third baseman, Mario Mustachio. Here we go. Seventh inning. Two-nothing game. Yusuf's still in there, but he is starting to get tired. Mario Mustachio steps up. Trying to keep my composure here in the playoffs. Yusuf can't get that. Molo's going to have to hustle, and she makes the play by a step. One out. That will bring up a Noni Drake. Terrible pitch. Anticipated that one, but he missed it. Let's go some high heat. Did not go for that. That was terrible. That's right back to Yusuf. He should handle that one, and he does. Two away. Will Hannah Hogs win? Stay in the game? No, they're going to make a change here to try to get something going with two outs in the top of the seventh. Sloop Whoopity steps up. One, two, pitch. Let's see if we can get him to chase. He hits it. Molo is there. And we're going to go to the bottom of the seventh. It is the seventh inning stretch. Two nothing game. So Nico Freeman going to come in the pitch here. Three, six, zero ERA, four strikeouts for the Birmingham Buzzards. They've got to get something going, and they're down to six outs when they come up to bat. Travis the Unknown, Stacey Sevens, least expected, coming up here to face him. Travis. Oh, he got a good swing on that one, but just too much. Popped up. Looks like Thurman Colt's going to have this one. That's out one. I am worried about the buzzard putting something together here at the end of the game. Our bullpen's going to have to be ready to go. Here's Stacy Sevens. 
He's already got on base once and a steal. She's going to hit that one right to Mustachio, though, and that's not going to be a base hit. Least expected. Least expected. Struggling a little bit today. Big ball one. Who know? There's going to be a base hit for Least. Good to see that. So a two out single here in the bottom of the seventh. Drakes trying to get something going. See if Mr. Dependable can get something cooking here with two outs. Not an 0-2 count now. Tried to get me chasing. Popped that one up, and we're going to head to the eighth inning with it 2-0. The Drake's holding on to the lead. Clark McBirthday coming up here. Hard hit ball. That's over Stacy Sevens. Travis not going to get to it. And the leadoff hitter is on yet again. Bullpen starts working for the Drakes. Zeros McBirthday comes up to bat. Bad pitch. But it's right to Stacy Sevens. There's one, and there's two, the four, six, three double play. <sighs> Bunt Birch steps up here. Bad slider. That ball is hit to the gap. That's going to be some bases. Row comes in. It is a double with two outs. So a runner in scoring position. And Thick Real King comes up the bat. That's a ground ball. And Lethal gets it. And Lethal steps on the bag for out number three. Yusuf holds and Kamen starts warming up in the bullpen. I think Yusuf's day is done. We'll bring in the pinch hitter here. Who do we bring in? We need somebody that's a lefty. Either Petrie or, you know, Bubba. Let's give Bubba another shot here. He falls 0-2. Hit that one for some reason. Now to bring up Lethal. Lethal looking for a first hit. That's hit down the line and it goes foul. Hmm, that could have been dangerous. And that one is going to get caught by Birch, and that's probably the third great catch he's made today. Now to bring up Sky Rodriguez, who is teetering on. And Sky rips into that one. It's headed for the wall. It is out of here. Put it on the board. Sky Rodriguez goes opposite field. And there's her waking up 400 feet, her first of the playoffs. And that will make it a 3-0 game. She was way late on that one, but it hung on to stay fair. That will bring up Z. And that's a little... Oh! Nutmeg the pitcher through the base. Birch still somehow makes the play. So Kamen coming out here. It is now a three-run game. Going to try to close off game one. Let's see what came in. And that's right back to Cayman. One pitch, one out. 
<laughs> well, you know, Grimmeth, they do have my mortal enemy, uh, Queen Grimmeth, the Latino Lightning. Uh oh, this one may get through. Nope, Stacy Sevens is there. Two pitches, two outs. So it comes down to Mario Mustachio. Oh, no, three pitches, three outs. That would have been Marco. Ooh, okay. Get him, Cayman. <gasps> I thought he would bite. That's a bad pitch. He hit it. Molo is there, though. And the Drakes are going to take game one from the Birmingham Buzzards. Well, in fairness, Grimmith, you all did have a five-game series with the Buzzards. They all wore out a little bit. They had eight hits. They'll come with no runs on that. Yusuf Stark, a he has to be player of the game. A remarkable outing. The Drakes get three runs on six hits. How in the world did we pull that off? It was a crime against my hitting. So looking at some of the viewers on the other team, Zeros goes one for four. Not bad. Dick Real King one for four as well. Anoni goes 0 for 3 with a strikeout, so he did not show up today. On our side, our heavy hitters, we had a lot of zeros too. Lethal goes 0 for 4. Sky Rodriguez did go 2 for 4 with a home run, 1 RBI. Z, 0 for 4. Molo goes 1 for 3, as does Travis. Travis had a 2-run home run that really opened the game up, and that was the only offense until the very end when Sky joined the home run club. Stacy Seven and least expected both go 1 for 3. Zenus and Yusuf, a combined 0 for 5. Bubba come in and does not get a hit on his pitch hitting attempt. Hannah Hogswin will take the loss. She drops to 0-1 in the playoffs, give up two earned runs in six innings, which is not bad. Just no run support for her. Yusuf will get the win. He goes eight innings, gives up a hit an inning, one walk, four strikeouts. He'll pick up the win. And Kamen picking up his first win of the playoffs. Yusuf Stark is indeed your player of the game, followed by Travis the Unknown, who was the most offensive player on our team, and then Sky Rodriguez. So, the one seeds open up with opening wins in the conference championships. Will that stay the same? The Louisville Cyclones are going to put Blue Gallagher on the mound. She has a 1-2-9 ERA. Not bad, but she's going up against Sancha Silvio, who has got a 1-9-3. Is 0-1 in the playoffs. Looks like World War II fan is wore out a little bit, so he may not even play in this game, but we'll have to see. Let's see what happens in game two. It looks like the Cyclones are battling back, and they're going to hold on to win and even up the series. A 6-4 game. So the Yankee Conference Championship is split one game all. So the Moose, that powerful blast, the Cyclones sowing some preservation as they channel through. Pick up six runs and the win. The Moose can be stopped. Maybe. They lost one game in the first round, too, and that was it. We'll see what they do. But on their last two games, look at that. The last game they had against Hollywood, they won that game 11-1, to and then they won 12-0 against the Cyclones. So they, excuse me, they had a two-game strip that was like crazy. That's just interesting to think about. <laughs> hmm. All right, so that brings us to game two. We have Captain Pete, our ace, going up against Walter Fawn. I don't think Walter Fawn is their ace. I'm pretty sure that Meow Bubkins is. Yep, 
Yeah. So their third pitcher, Walter Fawn, is going up against our ace. During the season, Walter went four and two. That's not bad. Four six four ERA. Held uh, opponents to 258, 45 strikeouts, 23 walks, though. He gave up 12 home runs. And of course, Captain Pete, 9 and 3 on the season with a 4.25 ERA. So when you compare their season averages, that's crazy. And Pete, 277 average, that's pretty high. Give up 12 home runs, three complete games. So he did have an amazing showing in the first game of the playoffs, though. Only give up one run, did get the win for that. So this could be interesting. Can Pete get runs for? Do we want to put that up there? Is that going to be a thing? Another prediction. Will Captain Pete get run support? More than four runs. Well, I guess I could do the equal to as well. So does he get four or more runs to equal run support? I will let you all bet on that. And I got to figure out what we're going to do with our lineup here in game two. I would like to solidify a win. Everybody looks good. Even, even, uh, oh, wait, this is different. No, it's not. Sky just isn't. She must have worked through her issues. But Z is down a little bit. I'm not a fan of that. I may... I'm going to move Travis up one in the lineup. I'm going to put Sir Studs out there and right for this game, just to get a little bit more speed out there. We go to game two, Drake's lead one nothing. We'll see what happens. Zeros leading off tonight, Thick Real King still batting fourth, Anoni eighth. Man, Zeros, Colt, and Birch leading off this game. Captain Pete versus Zeros McBirthday. First pitch. Super fastball. He didn't go for it. Hmm. Oh. And he's going to get a heat hit against Pete. So the leadoff batter is on, and I guess that's why they put Zeros there in the one spot. That'll bring up Thurman Colt. Oh, Molo couldn't hold on to it, and that's a steal. So already some aggressive base running by the Buzzards. Oh, we didn't get that call. And that's the sky. She'll hold zeros at second and get the out at first. Bert Bunch steps up. Foul that one off. Already anticipating pitches, huh? That's interesting. That ball is ripped to the gap. That's going to bring home a run. Zeros will score easily. Travis throwing it in. That is going to be an RBI double, and the Buzzards get their first run of the series. Thick real king. 
And Dick Real King's gonna blast that to the wall, and it's probably gonna be two nothing. Z gonna have to really play for this one. A terrible throw in. And it is two nothing with only one out here. The buzzards seem to have found Pete's weakness. And that is through. Oh my God. And that's going to put runners on the corners with one out. <sighs> okay. It's got to calm down. And that's a blue pit that will score a run. Three nothing. Pete in trouble. get the runner it is now four nothing in the first inning Anoni Drake steps up now the bet was for Pete's run support not the opponents that ball is hit and sir studs with a great catch and that will stop the bleeding maybe it is four nothing lethal D feline Sky Rodriguez Z coming up the Drakes already in trouble here in game two One and one to lethal. Two and one. Don't know why I went after that. Hard hit ball, but is popped up. Should be catchable. Sky Rodriguez. Oh, almost hit her. Mm. And she's going to pop up to the same exact spot. <clears throat> That'll bring up Z. He is struggling a little bit. His fawn is just... Oh my god, he is just bringing it. And then he throws that little lobber. That's going to be a 1-2-3 first for us. That is not good. The bats have gone cold. Fawn leading off, then back to the top of the order. Can Captain Pete settle down here? Uh-oh. AC Sevens makes that catch one away. Now back, the first baseman, number 24. Bad pitch. Oh, that's another bad pitch. Good gravy. And he walks him. So we put the speedster back on the base. Off the plate. And that's going to get through. So two on, one out. Oh my god, how did how did that even Oh no. Alright, so the runners move to second and third. Dick Real King steps up. He's already got an RBI today. Chance to knock in some more runs here. That's right back to Pete. 
The Drakes don't give up anymore in a second, but they were pressured heavily. Pete's arm already jello. Travis the Unknown, Mother Love, Stacy Sevens coming up to bat. See if we can get something going here. And there's a base hit for Travis the Unknown. That'll bring up Mother Love. Uh, we were out hit last game too. They just didn't score any runs. So the Birmingham Buzzard can hit. We scored three, uh, three hits. Or three runs on six hits. They had no runs on eight hits. That's going to be a double play. <sighs> All right, Stacy Sevens. That's going to be a pop out. So we move to the third. It's still 4 nothing. Borgnar, Clark, Mustachio. Oh, and, oh, game. How dare you do that to Molo? Leadoff runner is on again. Okay. Oh my God, they are just tearing his fastballs. Oh, good Lord. They are tearing his fastballs up. I, Mustachio is rattled. This needs to be a double play ball. I don't know if Z's gonna get this one. God, they're being so aggressive. It's five nothing now. So one out, no double play on the table. A Noni steps up. That's an easy steal. Nothing. The first baseman, number twenty-four. The buzzard have struck back here in game two of the conference championship. Six nothing. They were held scoreless in game one, but here against Captain Pete, they are tearing into him bottom part of the order. Let's see if somebody can get something going against Walter Fawn. It's too high. That's going to be caught. Deep breaths. Going to have to try, Noble Savage. But I don't know. It's, uh, I know it's early. We're just not getting good solid hits. See, we're hitting the ball, but it's staying up just enough for the outfielders to catch it. And to bring up Captain Pete. Two outs. Pete is tense, and their pitcher is locked in. Go to the fourth. Thurman, Colt, Birch, and Real King. We can't sub Pete yet. I don't want to destroy my bullpen here. Oh my. That is two dives that we have missed on that side of the field this game. 
Whatever our role was before the game for initiative, it was bad. Oh, thank you for the 100 bits, young straight. Thick real king comes up the bat here, two on. And that is a hit. Z should make the catch. He's going to try to go for third. I think we got him. Oh, we're not getting any calls. Oh, they're going to... God, a seventh run. I will take a drink. It has been a long time since we got a blasting like this. That's hit down the line. Luckily, it goes foul. There's another base hit. Nothing has went our way this game. No grounders. Nothing. Top of the order coming up here. We'll see if they can get something going. They have 11 hits already to R1. They have come out here. They are really geared up wanting to go to the championship. And Birch, once again, steals a hit from us. That will bring up Sky. Gotta have our patience. That was not patient. That is popped up. Gonna be caught. Bert. All right, Z, I really need you to get something going here, my friend. Go! Get out of here! Get! Get! Oh, and it's just short. Another one, two, three inning. Now the catcher, number 42. Game was like, you've done too well during the playoffs. We got to pull that back. You can't have this on 80 Ego. Oh, no. I know you're facing their third rate pitcher. But, uh. Man, it's like a whole different ego on this. Uh, oh, come on. On like Pete's pitching, like it's like instantly going to that big red circle. Somehow he got that one. That one out about bounced off the dirt and he hit it. So we move to the bottom of the fifth, seven nothing. I'd say Pete's day is done, maybe. I waited too long on that one. Hard hit ball, but Birch again. I think Travis will outrun that one. So we got a base runner. I think Travis is our only hit of the day. Come on, Molo. That was a strike. Okay. There's two on. Okay, starting to get something going. Stacy Sevens comes up. This will be a great time for her to hit into the gap. Down. There we go. Base is loaded. Sir Studs. One and one. And that's going to go to the gap. Sir Studs has done it. One run's going to score. Two runs is going to score. Three runs are going to score. It's 7-3. Sir Studs clears the bases on a double. Number 
The Drakes have found some life. They just need more of it. No outs. And there's another hit. Sir Studs will definitely score for that one. Seven to four. All right, Pete's done. Uh, we we, we got to make the choice now. Uh, let's put Petrie Thornton in. Pinch hit here. Should have probably swung at that one. That's a double play. Two and oh. That's inside. Break. Go down the middle. Break. Why did I swing? Oh! oh, it was so close to call there. Four runs in the bottom of the fifth make it a three-run game. Anything is possible right now. That was all done by the bottom part of our order. Now the center fielder, Thurman Cole. So we're going to bring Rise of Paper in. I'm kind of worried that maybe he wasn't the right person to go to. Because they've been hitting... Pete's, oh my God, well, it doesn't matter if I can't locate it. They've been hitting Pete's uh, pitches really well. That has popped up. I need somebody to catch it. We'll take it one away. So I don't know if we could give that as run support to Pete or not. I'll have to let think about that for a minute. Bad pitch. Yep. That was a bad play screwball. Oh, I can't let him score any more runs. Come on. The second baseman, number 69. Drake. Low. Sir Studs. Oh, he may get him. He's got the arm. No, they're not going to give me that call at third. What am I thinking? Come on, Sky. Make the play. There we go. There we go. All right. Whew. Sky's going to lead off here. It's a three-run game. We go to the bottom of the six. Game two. Sky, Z, Travis, the unknown. Now back, the third baseman, Sky Rodriguez. No pipe. Ball one to Sky. Was down the pipe. Should have thought about it. That is popped up. That is a terrible swing and a terrible hit. My big hitters just aren't hitting right now. That ball may be gone. Z contact swing. Put it on the board. It's seven to five. His second home run of the playoffs, and it's a two-run game. Had to bring up Travis the Unknown. And Travis takes a big swing. That one's hit in the deep center field. Put it on the board. Back-to-back -back home runs. The Drakes have brought it within one here at home. 441 feet. Travis was hitting it well today, and he continues here. 7-6 game. Number 39. 
Come oh, that was not a strike. Come on, Molo. Oh, it's going to be two and two. And Molo turns on that one. Contact swing. We have a tie ball game. Tie game seven, seven. Back to back to back. Home runs from the Drakes. Oh, my God. What a game this has turned into. Molo's second home run. Holy cow. Oh, my Lord. Stacy Sevens comes up the bat here. And that ball shot to the gap. Stacy Sevens is off to the races. It's not four home runs. Colt's going to throw that in. Stacy Sevens is getting greedy. She's going for third. Birch's throw is not in time. Lead run on third. Let's go. Right Sir Stud steps up. On is rattled. Ball high. That is popped up. It's not going to be deep enough. Shoot. Oh. Ah. Oh, come on, Mr. Dependable. Zenus Islon steps up to bat. He has been known for this all season, and he's going to have to go against Johnny Morlock. Oh, this just got serious. Game two, a lot on the line. Three, six, zero ERA, four strikeouts for Morlock in the playoffs here. Can Mr. Dependable come through? That is not going to do it. We go to the seventh inning. It is all tied up. Seven, seven. Clark Mustachio Drake. Whew. Oh man. Now batting the right fielder, number 68. Whew. Norbert Clark is three for three today. That's down. Break. Break. Great pitch. I'll get him to go. Oh, no. I don't think Mother Love can get to that. And she's not. And he's going to be four for four. And they're taking out Mustachio and bringing in Titus Wishwash. He is a dangerous hitter. We've went against him before. And Molo makes that catch. Finally, we get some defense. That'll bring up a Noni Drake. He is tense. 0 for 3. We just picked the runner off. Two outs. My God, what is happening? What is even going on? He thought about going. That's a terrible pitch. That's a great pitch. Ground ball. Make the catch. There we go. We go to the bottom of the seventh tie game. We held them. <sighs> um, oh, I think. I don't know what I do here. I think I let rise a paper bat. Let him soak up a few pitches. Well, that was a good pitch. I had to go after it. All right, top of our order here. One swing can change anything. The goddess of swing is looking for a stat. Man, what am I swinging at? That's not going to do it. Two quick outs. All right, Sky. You're looking for a hit, too. Sky Rodriguez. 
That's right, the zeros for out three. We go to the eighth inning. Nerves going crazy here. Will they let Morlock bat? They are. It's a terrible pitch. I don't know why he's uh, struggling so much to uh, pitch right now. Good pitching. Good pitching, Ryze. <sighs> Zeros McBirthday steps up. That's a great at bat. One pitch, one out there. Two outs total. Thurman Colt steps up. Get him chasing here. Come on, go for it. He did. Stacy Seven should have that. And she does. I thought she was going to miss that. We go to the bottom of the eighth. Z, Travis, and Molo. They had the trifecta of home runs last at bat. Let's see what happens here. Get down. Oh, didn't make the catch, so Z is on. And that will bring up Travis. High pitch, it's a ball. And Travis turns on that one. Did he get enough? It's going to be close. It's headed for the wall. It is off the wall. The runners are finally going. Z's going to stride in the third, and now we have runners on second and third. There is no outs. We had to watch it. We didn't know what it was going to do, and that'll bring up Molo. Come on, Molo. Get through. That's going to get through. Go, go. Two, go home, go home, go home. Colt's going to throw. And Molo with the two RBI single. It's 9-7. The Drakes have come back and took the lead. Oh, my Lord. Oh, my, oh, my. Mother Love has put the team on her back, and Morlock's day is done. <sighs> I'm going to get lightheaded. This is too much. This is too much going on right now. They're bringing out their closer to try to salvage the game. Emmanuel Harrell coming out. Two, four, five, ERA, six strikeouts. There are still no outs. Molo is on first. Oh, and he's hitting the face. Stacy Sevens with some contact. And that could change everything. He's weak. He's still got some of his stats. Sir Stud steps up here. That's going to be popped up. I should have bunted and stole there. That's stupid. That is stupid on my part. Now batting, the catcher, number 21. Do it there, though. And I know it's kind of meaningless, but... All right, rise of papers up. So, wait. We're getting ready to go to the ninth, so we can bring in a closer. Let's bring in... Jason McMongoose here. Try to extend this lead. Get through. Oh, he's got to outrun that. Come on, McMongoose. Go. Yes, yes. Another run scores. Oh, it pays off. It pays off. The goose did get loose. And that's it. Emmanuel Harrell's done. And they're going to have to put meat commonly in. Oh, my Lord. A three-run game all of a sudden. The goddess of swing steps up. Oh, I thought she had that. And that is going to land. Another run will score. It's not even a save situation at this point. Guy Rodriguez steps up here. 
Two and out to her. Three and one. Oh, she almost took that down the line. Full count now. Two outs. She'll strike out. Oh! And Sky shatters the bat over her knee. Uh, who do we bring out? I... It's not a close situation. But I guess we go to Cayman. Birch, Real King, and Borgonar. Oh, and Cayman. Now battle the third baseman, number 69. Come on, double play. Four, six, three, double play. We'll take it. The Buzzards are one out away from falling two games down in this best of five series. Lethal gets the ball, steps on the bag, and the comeback is alive. The Drakes come back from seven down and win the game. That is one of my best comebacks ever, and somehow it happened on 80 Ego. Seven to nothing in the fourth inning. They had seven runs on 14 hits. We come back, we get 16 hits and 11 runs to boot and win. <sighs> so the prediction outcome is going to be no. Pete did not get that run support. So that may move some money around. Pete tried his best to blow the series for us. Take a bow. I don't know if I could take a bow. I may pass out. Looking at the buzzards. Valiant effort by them. Zeros McBirthday goes one for four and drew a walk. Thick Real King, another viewer. One for five with an RBI. Anoni, 0 oh for four. He's just not showed up here in the playoffs. On our side, it started off slow, lethal. One for five with an RBI. Sky Rodriguez did go 0 for five. We may have to put lethal at third and uh, the goose at first for the next game if she's tense again. Z goes two for four with a home run RBI. Travis, four for four. One home run, one RBI. He had scored three times today. So did Mother Love. She went three for four. Home run with three RBIs. Try, or Z also had that home run. But back to back to back, that's the first time I've done that in ages. Stacy Sevens went a quiet three for four. We didn't even pay attention to that. She scored twice. Sir Studs, one for four with three RBIs. That was a massive hit he had with the bases loaded. And that just shows you right there, it's not the number of hits you have, it's the quality of the hits. Zenus goes one for three with an RBI. Captain Pete, 0 for one. Petrie Thornton and... Rise of Paper did not get hits. Jason McMongoose, a key pinch hitting opportunity there. He drove in a run. Just a complete game. Morlock, a viewer, will take the loss. So we saw all four viewers of the Birmingham Buzzard out there today. Remember, if you'd like a player on one of the teams, exclamation SMB3 will give you the link to that Google Doc. Whew. Rise of Paper will take the win. Pete went five innings, give up 11 hits, seven earned runs, and a walk. Just a terrible day. His ERA swells from 1 to 5-1-4. Rise of Paper, though, comes in three solid innings, gives up two hits, one strikeout, no runs. And then Kamen comes in and closes the door. Not even a save situation, but he wanted to throw, so he throws. My, oh, Actually, the starting pitchers had very comparable stats, if you look at it. Fawn went five and two thirds and had 10 hits to Pete's 11, seven earned runs to Pete's seven, and he had two strikeouts. Pete didn't have any strikeouts today. He just did not have the ability to throw that fastball like he normally does. Mother Love is your player of the game. I thought for sure it would have been Travis. 
Molo steals the player of the game trophy away from Travis and then Bunt Birch, who should be up there for his defense both games. He's been the highlight for them no matter what. You know, I've got some great quotes. You know, I tried to get uh, Mario Super Sluggers to work. It's only on the Wii and Wii Plus or whatever. But uh, I don't have a Nintendo Wii. Uh, maybe I should invest in a Wii. I think Wii games would be hilarious to stream. Um, but uh, I would have to find the right set to buy to make sure I got working equipment for that. None of my... F I I'll be honest, and I feel really sad about this. My mom, actually, one year, whenever the Wii came out, she actually bought it for me. And I just didn't play it a lot. I played the Zelda game... Hey, Makatayuki, good to see you, my friend. 32 months indeed. Thank you so much. Let me throw some hypes in the chat, and everybody else, you should join in. Let's throw some super hypes out there. Thank you, Makatayuki. I appreciate that. And for everybody who's getting way up there in months, thank you all so much for the support. It means so much to me. I just, I really appreciate it. And then when things like this happens, it just, it makes it all worth it. Because it's, it's one thing when you play, it's like golf. If you hit a hole in one and nobody's around, nobody's going to believe you. And it's it's great, but it's not that great. But if you have friends that witness it too, that's what matters. So thank you, Makatayuki. I appreciate that. Makatayuki's rocking out the 10K cheer badge too. Thank you for that as well, Makatayuki. I had never noticed that. Hey, Pyro, good to hear that you got that working. All right, so... Let's see what happens. The series between the Manitoba Moose and the Louisville Cyclones is all tied up. Piston Hatchford, the lefty, with a 1-0 record, is going to go up against Enzo Hornblower. Can the Cyclones jump ahead of the Moose? Or will we have a collision course of last year's World Series, the Moose versus the Drakes. This game determines it. Hey, Makatayuki, good to hear that. I, someday I will build a new PC. There's so many things I want to do. I really just need to win the lottery this weekend, and then I'll do it all for you all. I'll just stream all day. So, you got to play it, though. I do need to go out and play it tomorrow. It's getting up pretty high. All right, so let's simulate this game and see what's going to happen. Oh, the Moose. Oh, the Moose take it 3-2. Uh, close 3-2 games. And look at that. Game four is going to have Sir James on the mound. Trying to save the series for the Cyclones. It looks like we've got John Jeremy on the mound for game three to clinch it. They've got the lefty, Erlang Elwood. We don't face lefties that much. This could be crazy. With my new rig, I'm going to make Lethal Proud and stream SWAT 4 as my first game. You may make Lethal Proud, but that old lady on that first mission still haunts my soul to this day. All right, deep breaths. The Drakes go on the road to Birmingham and a chance to clinch the Confederate Conference Championship and go on to the World Series for back-to-back -back years. All that stands in their way is Erlang Elwood. He has no decisions in the playoffs and a 3 one ERA. We have John Jeremy, the righty on the mound. No decisions for him. He's got a 2-2-5 ERA. Though I am curious. Look at them during the season. As is my royal right. J2 went 7-2 with a 3.09 ERA. 51 strikeouts. Creeping average up near 300. That's not good. He did not give up a lot of home runs, though. And he had a number of complete games and shutouts. That bodes well. 
checking out Erling Elwood. Oh, he's their number four. I didn't realize that. He went two and five during the season with a comparable ERA. 52 strikeouts, a much lower average. He only gave up five home runs. So we may not get as many on him as the others. Uh, 80 ego is master is what it says at the bottom there if you see it after about 70 it starts getting a little tough there are people that play on 85 and 90 um and i think if you play online and you get really good your ego is usually around 91 or 92 maybe a little higher um but i i probably could go up to 85 i don't know about 90 but it just depends. I mean, like I said, the buzzard could come back and win three games straight, and then we'll be like, oh, well, maybe you should go down an ego, but who knows? All right, let's do this. They've got a lefty, so I may act... Oh, I don't want to take Travis out of the line. Oh, we got Sir Studs already in the lineup, so we'll just leave him. Zenus is a little wore out. I may... No, we've got to have Zenus in there to stop the steals. I don't like the fact that both Lethal and Sky are tense at the top of my order. But this part of the lineup is amazing right now. So we're gonna we're just gonna trust it. We're on the road, we're playing at Lafayette Corner, we're in the deep south. Birmingham Buzzards trying to stay alive here. The Drake's trying to move on to the World Series. Uh, I think 99 Ego is as high as it goes. Oh, Mustachio's still starting and he is wore out. They've moved Zeros down to second in the lineup. Oh, they took out. Thick Real King and Anoni not playing this game. Yeah, usually World War II fan people will play not, if they're doing online versus in that league. There, it's going to be ninety something or higher. But you got to be careful. Some people, what they do is they turn up like pitching to ninety nine, then they drop some of the other stuff down, and uh, it's kind of misleading. Well, Wood starting to fling it here. It's fouled off. Going to fall one and two in the count. Get over. No, that's going to be caught. Mustachio with a catch at third, even though he's rattled. So that's not going to help Lethal. We need to get her out of that slump. This field is different. That'll bring up Sky Rodriguez here. I should have swung at that. Oh, that went through the pitcher, but Sky is on base. To bring up Z. Let's see what he can do here. Big ball one. Like to get a good start here in the game. And that ball is rocketed. It's headed for the upper deck. Put it on the board. The Drakes go up 2-0 here early on a swing from Z. And John Jeremy's already rocking with some run support. A contact swing heads to the second row. Not the second row, the second sets of rows. Good Lord. My Lord, that ball sailed out. And if you're a Buzzards fan, you're not feeling confident right now. But anything can happen. And that ball's hit, but it's straight center field. I think Thurman Colt should have a catch on it. And he does. Two away. So it paid off for Sky to get on base there. Z brought her home with the home run. And to bring up Mother Love. Come on, Molo. Just calm down. Woo! Okay. Okay. That pitch had some movement on it. So we go to the bottom of the first, and it's already 2 0. Borgenar, McBirthday, and Colt. All right, J2, we need you to clinch this. Need a good outing from you. Good cl I can't get tour up. J2 always allows base runners. Oh, 
Oh, they had a hit and run in play there. That's going to get through. So two on. Ah, this looks familiar, and I don't like it one bit. That'll bring up Thurman Colt. He is locked in. Thurman Colt. Be right. Popped up. Travis makes the catch. The runners stay, surprisingly. I thought they had the, uh, they had the, uh, that was a distance I thought they could do. Bad pitch. Oh, it's off Sky's hand. This could be dangerous. They're going to score a run here. Travis throws it, but not in time, and that's going to make it 2-1. So 2-1 here in the bottom of the ninth. You knew this would be a slugfest. Oh, he... Wow, what a terrible throw to second, but it works. The 1-4-3 double play. J2 gives up a run. It's 2-1. We go to the second. Hey, Pyro. Well, Pyro, you're quite the star in the Tomodachi Life series, so... Stacy Sevens batting righty here tonight. Take strike one. Ground ball. Whoopity not going to let that through. Down number one. Had to bring up Sir Studs. I was wanting to get some speed on the bent or on the bases, but we're not going to do it on both of them. Two quick outs. Had to bring up Mr. Dependable. And Mr. Dependable will deliver a base hit with two outs. That will extend the second inning, or the top of the second. That'll bring up the pitcher, J2. Two. That's hit right to McBirthday. An easy out. He'll step on the bag and go to the bench. Whoopity leading off. Mustachio and Billy Bronx. We'll see if J2 can hold the line here and not let them tie it up. Guy, gonna have to do a heck of a throw, and she does just that for out number one. That brings up Mario. Ma oh, that's a terrible pitch. Where am I going? A2, calm down, my friend. Stay not wild, my friend. That's a ground ball to Molo. She should have that. That'll bring up Billy Bronx. Playing catcher for Anoni tonight. Was a little surprised to see his name in the lineup. J2, J2. Good pitch. Good pitch. We'll take it. Lethal D Feline, Sky Rodriguez, and Z Striker, the top of the order leading off. Now batting the first baseman, number 26. The goddess of swing. Steve Wright. Tried to take it down the line. She's going to fall 0-2. Let's just do a contact swing with her now. Nice walk out. Ooh, she's having a rough time. I don't know what's going on. Now to bring up Sky Rodriguez. She's got some bonuses kicking in here. We need to utilize them. I don't know what's going on. Oh, is that going to get down? Oh, it does. Sky with a blue pit to center field. Now batting, the center field. That brings up Z. 24. Can he do it again? 
No. Ah, oh, I have brought dishonor to my family. That was a good pitch. It just dropped way more than I thought. That'll bring up Travis. 2-1 game here. This could go either way. Come on, let's bring Sky home for the second time. Hard hit, but right to Birch. He'll throw to first, and that will retire the side. That brings up Elwood Borgnar McBirthday here in the bottom of the third. 2-1 game. Keep the pitcher from getting on base. How about that? I thought he was going to go on that. Good pitch. Froze him. Mike Elza. This is game three of the conference championship. The Drakes. Trying to clinch the series up 2-0. They're here on the road in Birmingham. Hard hit ball, but Molo is there. Two away. That'll bring up Zeros McBirthday. Zeros got lots of stuff popping up here. The Alabama crowd cheering him on. That ball is hit really high. Sir Studs calls for it. That is out number three. Crisis averted. We head to the fourth. 2-1 still. Mother Love, Stacy Sevens, Sir Studs. Now batting the shortstop, number 39. Oh, Mother Love just missed that one. Looks like it's going to be caught in fair territory down the line. Wish Wash playing right field makes the catch. That'll bring up Stacy Seven. She is locked in. And that's hit down the line, and that's going to drop, and that's going to roll. That is a single for Stacy Sevens. And without Anoni behind the plate, there could be a steal opportunity. Sir Studs comes up to bat. Oh, they pitched out. And they're going to get Stacy Sevens. Yeah, that was, that was too easy. They're smart, and there's the third out. Bad manage. Uh oh, Sir Studs got hurt on that. We go to the bottom of the fourth. Two-one game. Colt Wishwash birth. But the problem is, is what is wrong with Sir Studs? A pulled hammy. Can bring least expected in. So that's okay, but losing him for a couple games is not good. He'll never steal again. That's straight to Molo. <laughs> that was a that was an interesting game, Makatayuki. I did all sorts of games back then. There was this like forum that I like read, and they they tried to get you to do let's plays in a certain way, and I don't know. Nintendo games are all I knew back then. I really the 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 worst habit though is that is back then I actually played games through. I really need to get back in the habit of when I start a game I need to complete it. Like this game may be the only one like I actually play all the way through multiple times. Well, that's going to get through for a hit. So Sloop Whoopity steps up. One on, two outs. Come on. Oh, I thought that was a uh, strike. That's a bad pitch. I think Travis, who's out there playing for Sir Studs, will make the catch. We move to the fifth inning. It's still 2-1. Turn of the order coming up. Zenus will lead off. John Jeremy, and then Lethal D-V-Line. 
I swear something happened with that game, Viking. That might have been when I switched computers. There's a hard hit ball. No, we finished Bomber Crew. I went back and finished Bomber Crew and the expansion to it. Now, Space Crew, I'm sorry. I, I should apologize for that. Space Crew bored me. J2 lays down the bunt. It's going to move the runner. So we got a runner in scoring position now. Lethal D steps up. Oh, we need a hit. Come on, Lethal. Two and one. That was a good ball, and I missed. Full count here. That ball is rope. Did the goddess of swing get enough of it? It's going to come down, and it's out of here. Put it on the board. A two-run shot for the goddess of swing, and the lead increases the four to one, her third home run of the playoffs. She's silently coming back. <sighs> Me, oh my. The Drakes smelling the clinch. They want to get back to the World Series and try to repeat. Sky Rodriguez just missed that one. I knew I missed it when I hit it. This is a beautiful field, by the way. It just didn't match the Cuba settings. But it looks great for Birmingham, Alabama. That's true, Makatayuki. I miss that guy wherever he is. I hope he's all right. That's inside. All inside. I have my like teacher things with you all. It's like when you all watch me for a while and we talk and I get attached like I did to my students and then I like I worry what happens after you leave my room and you go somewhere else. We go to the fifth inning, bottom of the fifth, 4-1 now after the two-run shot there. Mustachio, Bronx, and Elwood, bottom of the order. J2, trying to just coast along here. Uh oh, that's a bad pitch. Ooh, he almost went. Come on, J2, get him. That's going to be a fair ball. May even be a double. Oh, I'm going to hold up at first. Doesn't want to try the arm at least expected. Billy Bronx. The throw. Not a good tag. Come on. They're trying to get another run on. So J2 going to really have to buckle down now. Ooh. Ooh, and buckle he did. What a fastball. That'll bring up the pitcher. Oh, he showed the bunt. There's no way he's going to bunt, right? Oh, he does. But it wasn't a good bunt. J2 holds the runner at second and throws the first two away. Had to bring up Borgenar. Runner still in scoring position, but it's a ground ball. Molo gets it off the weird bounce. We go to the sixth inning. Drake still lead by three. Travis do up. Mother Love, they're looking for their first hits, and then Stacy Sevens. Now batting the right fielder, number three. Travis the unknown here. That an amazing playoff run. And there's going to be a hit. So Travis just been so clutch. And he's going to have to really be out there now because with uh, Sir Studs being injured, we don't have anybody else to fill that spot. Ground ball, though. That might be a double play, and it is. 4 6 3. Well, that's not good. We'll let Stacy Sevens hit for power here. See what happens. One and two. 
Just strike out. We go to the bottom of the six, still three run games. Zero Smith birthday, Thurman Colt, Wishwash. Rough set of batters to face here. That was a strike ump. Okay, I got a makeup call there. Oh, that's a ground ball. That low fastball of J2s has really been a weapon today. That's a bad pitch. And Sky handles it with ease. That'll bring up Titus Wishwash. This is game three of the conference championship. If the Drakes win here, they will move on to the World Series, and they will await the winner of the Manitoba Moose and the Louisville Cyclones. If both the Drakes and the Moose make it, it will be a repeat World Series from last year. Least expected Zenus and John Jeremy do up this inning. Least expected going to have to log some time here as he replaced the injured Sir Studs. That is going to be a ground out of the third. Mustachio handles it. One away. Zenus. It's an inside ball. Reno. Oh, that was a low. I thought that was going to be a ball. Full count now. That is a full count walk. Great at bat. What's going on, Travis? Mr. Hero. Had to bring up John Jeremy. John Jeremy, a powerful hit to the gap. Is it going to drop, though? Right in the wish wash's hands, it will. Had to bring up Lethal. Lethal one for three today. Two RBIs, though. That is popped straight up. Get out of play. Get out of play. Get under that gate. There we go. There's a ground out the birch. Seventh inning stretch. Still a 3-1 game. Anything can happen. The Buzzards have nine outs to get back in this game. Birch, whoopity, mustachio. Great pitch. Ooh, didn't get that call. Come on, Sky. Good throw. Good play. One away. Sloop Whoopity stepping up here. That's a bad pitch. It's going to be right down the middle. He missed it. Oh, my God. That pitch was, like, out of control. And somehow, he missed it. There's a ground ball. Lethal should have this one. Two away. Let's keep him down on the ground. Mario Mustachio, he's just tense now. So he's trying to work out of his rattledness. Anticipated that curveball, but he didn't miss it. Popped up. Molo should have this. Oh my god, I thought she was going to miss it. Then I was going to get really mad if Least Expected didn't catch it. So 4-1 game. We go to the 8th. Sky Rodriguez, Z-Striker, Travis the Unknown. Now battle the third baseman, Sky Rodriguez. Sky Rodriguez has got two little blue pits today. And that was almost a blast. Good God, that went to like the, almost the upper, upper deck. 
and oh what there's no way that he did that the ball was going by him and it bounced to the right into his glove i'm burnt about that just now the magnet glove is still alive That's hit to the gap. If that falls, that's going to be a couple of bases. And it does. Colt plays it well. Throws coming in the second, but Z is there for a double. And to bring up Travis. He is locked in. Ooh, I think that might be caught. Yeah. Uh, I do have a playlist. I, I put them into the... Uh, there is an Oregon Trail playlist. Let's see if Mother Love can knock in Z here. That ball is hit really hard. If it hits off the wall... Borgenar caught that somehow. We go to the bottom of the eighth. The bullpen seeing some action. Bronx, Elwood, Borgenar. We'll see how far J2 can get in here. We don't want him to get in trouble. This should not be trouble. Lethal's just going to hold on to it herself. One away. Are they going to leave Elwood in? No. Thick Real King coming out to pinch hit. Uh, we played another game the other night, Makatayuki. It's called What the Dub, where it's just full of those videos where you put in the uh, the missing uh, links. Round ball. Stacy Sevens is there. Two away. I don't think I, I've not uploaded that to YouTube yet. I've got it sitting on my desktop, but I've not edited it down. I only have so many hours of the day. Just like right now, I'm supposed to be taking out my trash, but I'm sitting here streaming baseball. Drop the bottom out of this one. Drop the base. Oh, and it worked. Frozen. Like Elza. So Emmanuel Harrell coming in to pitch the closer. Uh, Viking, yeah, I was waiting for a number of updates to happen on that game. But yeah, I really enjoyed it, so I want to play it again. I just thought that would give them time to update. I've been following their Discord, but I haven't seen the game pop up for updates. So Emmanuel Harrell is coming into the game, their closer, and he's strained. Was this the guy we hit? Also, if you're out there lurking right now, by the way, go ahead and hit that follow button. Because why follow your dreams when you can follow me? And also, if you want to join us on Discord, exclamation Discord will give you a link to our Discord server. Stacy Sevens, least expected, and Zenus, the last chance to add runs. Came in warming up in the bullpen just in case. Emmanuel Harrell comes out injured. That's a pop-up. He did his job on that. I should have just let him pitch more. That was that was a bad at bat. Least expected steps up. That's fine. You can get a new screen. Following is forever. Hard hit ball, but right the whoopity. That will bring up Zenus. He's two for two today. And we took the three worst swings we could. So here is the chance for the buzzards to stay alive. And look who they have coming up. Zero Smith birthday, Thurman Colt, Titus Wishwash. J2 staying in the game. Bad pitch. He watched it. He watched that slider. Oh. Oh, my Lord, J2. And Sky catches that one. The Drakes are one out away from the World Series. Titus Wishwash is the last chance. 
and Stacy Simmons gets it. Can she make the throw? Oh, and he's safe. Oh my God. Bunt Birch comes up to bat. It's not over yet. It may be over now. Stacy Simmons, a second chance. The Drakes are going to the World Series. They clinched the series here in Birmingham, Alabama. The Buzzards put up a fight at the start. Game two was a dramatic comeback from the Drakes down seven. Somehow win the game. And the Drakes will clinch the series. First it was the Kyoto Blowfish, now the Birmingham Buzzard, the Atlantic Drakes going to the World Series for the second straight year. A chance for their third title in six seasons. Four runs on nine hits to the one of the buzzard on six hits. Everybody in the lineup except Mother Love saw, and least expected didn't get hits. That is shocking. But Mother Love carried us the first two games, so I'm not even going to flinch. Lethal Feline, home run, two-run home run. One for four, two for four for Sky, two for four for Z, had a two-run shot himself. Travis, one for four. Stacy Sevens, one for four. And then Zenus goes two for three and a walk. Zeros McBirthday went one for four. Okay, SKS. Gotta get ready for work, but it was nice being here. Hey, Makatiyuki, thank you so much for the 100 bits. I do appreciate that, my friend. And yes, get ready for work. Don't be late. We'll see you next time, buddy. Appreciate that. So John Jeremy clinches the series for us. That means that starting in the World Series, we'll have Colton Conrad, the year two pitcher sensation, and then game two would be the rookie, Yusuf Stark. That is crazy. And then Pete and J2 in games three and four. So we may not see John Jeremy again if we lose 3-0 or we win 3-0 in the next series. But J2 win a complete game. Six hits, one earned run, five strikeouts. Great outing by him. Elwood gives up four and eight, nine hits. And the Birmingham Buzzard season comes to an end. John Jeremy is your well-deserved player of the game, followed by Z-Striker and Lethal D Feline. Well, the Moose, we had to play the Moose last year, and it was a tough it was a tough matchup from what I remember. It was a 3-1 series, but it felt so much closer than that. But who will we play? Is it going to be the Moose again? That's the question. Poor World War II fan is leading the league in home runs during the playoffs. Gen Cara's up there too. I almost forgot about him. Ooh, Queen Grimmeth had nine RBIs and they still lost in the first round. That's That's got to hurt. So it comes down to the Moose, Felix Farmhand, 270 ERA, going up against viewer player Sir James. Can Sir James, it looks like World War II fan is wore out. They played him tired. Does the Moose have a... Let's see. We said the Cyclones have World War II fan Sir James. They're both going to be playing. And Moto Washington is on their team. And I don't think the Moose. The Moose has Din Cara. That's a Rackman's player. So there are viewer players on both teams. But let's see what happens here. Oh, the Cyclones go up early. And the Cyclones, oh, they give up three runs late, but they hold on. It's 2-2. Two, two. It's going to come down to Velasquez and Rhiannon Canyon going head-to-head -to, -head to see who makes it 
This means their ace will not be on the mound for game one because the Moose have to start Rhiannon Canyon right here. But look at Troy Velasquez's ERA 964, and he lost a game. He is also tense. Going against Rhiannon Canyon, who is 2 0 with a .73 ERA. You know, we're gonna we're gonna do a prediction right now. This to give some of you all a chance to uh, get some points back. Give you two minutes here. Who's going to win this game? The Louisville Cyclones on the road, or are we going to have a repeat World Series and the Manitoba Moose win this game? You've got two minutes, a minute 45 actually from this point on, to put your predictions in and wager your points if you dare. I actually think we'll take this time and we'll look at the uh, league leaders. Let's see who's did what in the playoffs. So Cole Tang of the Nassau Grap. Oh, why is there a uh, I think Z actually won the uh, regular season stuff. And he won the triple crown. But I don't get the uh, thing for that. So some mooses. Jason Hull there. Man, the buzzard had such good batting averages. And then home runs. Queen Grim yeah, Queen Grimmeth had two home runs, nine RBIs. They still lost. That's that. She got ripped off. Another season cut short. Wonder if she'll jump from the dirt dogs and go, go take her talent somewhere else. World War II fan, maybe somebody. He's played really well this season. Lots of strikeouts there for the Cyclones. That does not bode well for uh, them going up against Reunion Canyon. Wow, somebody dropped a ton of Drakes on that. Stolen bases. Jude Rocket had three in that first round matchup. Stacy Sevens with two. Stacy Sevens also caught once. Reunion Canyon does have two wins. Johnny Morlock had two. Wow. Nadia Kramer of the Cyclones. MVP of the postseason. Four saves. Good Lord. Jovita Pulo of the Dirt. Wow. So many of the Dirt Dogs players did their job, but they still lost. All right, here we go. Who is going? We should watch the game. I wish you could simulate it like inning by inning, but alas, you cannot. It's going to go fast. So let's uh, let's end this stream with this and see who's going to face the Drakes. Louisville Cyclones, Manitoba Moose. Who moves on? The Cy Oh, the Cyclones shock the world. The Louisville Cyclones are going to the World Series to take on the Atlantic Drakes. Holy cow, Blue Gallagher. Blue Gallagher will take the mound against Colton Conrad. Holy moly, I did not expect that. Oh me, oh my. The Louisville Cyclones win. Look at those matchups. Oh my God, look at game three. Sir James versus Captain Pete. Holy crap. And we've seen that Velasquez, John Jeremy matchup during the regular season. That is crazy. That's going to be a crazy, crazy series if we make it to game four. Oh my Lord, the Cyclones have World War II fan who's been on a tear in the playoffs. Sir James, who's one of their starting pitchers, and then Moto Washington, who plays catcher. That is crazy. 
Look at those ERAs and the records. 257 from Blue, 216 from Colton. Molo is pumped up and ready to play. World War II fans coming off that injury, it looks like. Let's take a look at the team we'll be playing. Louisville. The Cyclones coming in. Wow, they were not as good as the uh, the Moose, but the Moose get upset. Here you have World War II fan, A minus first baseman, 99 contact, 80 speed, 89 arm, switch hitter. What kind of season did he have? Nine home runs, 24 RBIs, five steals. I figured this matchup may bring a number of people against uh, against the Drakes. Moto Washington here. Looks like he had limited play this season. No, he had 84 at-bats. I don't know what I'm talking about. 27 of the games. He's the backup catcher. He can only play catcher. So, uh, or maybe, he, oh, I would say World War II fan played catcher a lot too. Yeah, because they got Cade Hazeldean that plays first. I don't know. It's going to be interesting to see how they do their lineup. Sir James, though, 85 contacted batting somehow. Velocity junk and it's like, whew, whew, whew. Two and one the regular season, 60 innings pitched, 47 strikeouts, making 10 million a year. Solid lineup. That Sean Shipwright up there, look at his stats. 94 speed, 99 fielding, 82 arm. Who? Why does World War II fan? I don't know. I think the computers had to develop. I think the computer gets a lot more money than you do to develop. Because look at Zesty Mackey here. 99 arm. Oh, Sir James? I have no idea. Maybe Sir James. He has no power, but he has 80. Well, Sir James was one of the original characters, so we rolled for stats, so he must have just got a crazy roll. But interesting. Sir James pointing at his head. He's the thinking meme. If we can get two early wins against Blue and Enzo, by the time Sir James comes up... We may be in good shape, but Enzo is an A. He's better than these other ones. Maybe it goes Blue and Troy. I don't remember how their uh, their line went. No, it goes Blue and Enzo. So it doesn't look like... Okay, regular season. So Jason Hull, he's tense right now. He had 11 home runs during the regular season. Cade hit nine, and World War II fan hit nine. So the top part of their lineup, I mean, you got a couple of six home run people here. Marshall Ball had seven. So not, not bad. They've, they've got a decent lineup. A couple of steals. Sean steals. Kawua split steals. World War II fan. And then in the playoffs, World War II fans been super hot. Um, yeah, I think Saturday afternoon may be a good time to do this series. Um, cause Sunday I'll be out of town for my nephew's graduation, and then maybe Monday or Tuesday we can do the the Oregon Trail two stuff. There's who we'll be facing. Yeah, I might as well do it to myself on a work night. Oh, our pitchers. There we go. I was going to say, is our, are we going to even load? Sky back there flexing. She's intimidating Pete. Poor Bubba Blastman. Look at him in that picture in the back row. He is just done with the season. He is like, I was really ready for retirement, but no, we're playing in the World Series now.
Yep, he is the old man indeed right here. You all could see my yeah, you could see my mouse. That's Bubba Blastman. Then poor Petrie over here, he's kinda, you know. Everybody else looks like they're ready to go. Hey man, World Series, anything can happen. You are not guaranteed to win the World Series. I would guess that we're the home team the first two games because Yeah, because we, we're the one seed. So we get to wear the home whites. So Hey Clelk, how you doing? Kind of catching us here at the end. We started a little bit early tonight. Almost went two and a half hours. I honestly thought the reason why I started it early is I thought that it would uh I thought I didn't think we would win both series. It's amazing. I think that early on, like season one and two, we had a much better team than we do now. Now, granted, we have a lot of the same people, but we have had stat losses and our bench has been depleted. It's not as deep, but it seems like players like Dig and Bubba and even Petrie have really, really been helping out. And for us to sweep the first two series... I did not see that. Now, I thought Kyoto, because every time we played Kyoto during the season, we demolished them. But I didn't think the Buzzard or the Dirt Dogs would have been the way it is. I am worried about the Louisville Cyclones. They were a tough team all season. Now, we played them during the season, right? Okay, we beat them 11-2. to Yeah, here's that. Oh, it's Yusuf and Velazquez. And that was at their home field. Did we play them again? No, we only played them the one time. So we relatively don't know these teams. I miss Kyra a little bit, but you all know that I hold Sky close to my heart. If I ever have a girl someday, I may name her Sky, just in her honor. I'll have little Sky and my dog, Drake. If I have a boy, his name's going to be Theo. You know, just a... Uh, have it all ready to go. Um, can I not look at my... This is what I want to look at. So they finished 27 and 21. Not Cornelius. No, Cornelius is not what I'm going to name anybody. Sky does equal bay. That is the math formula. So the two teams that won the bigger divisions are the ones left standing. That kind of shocks me. I still cannot. I thought that we were on a collision course with the Manitoba Moose because they were scoring runs like us all season long. Oh, Sky Alicia does. Alicia Sky sounds good, too. So... All right, everybody. I think that's where we're going to stop the stream tonight. We are in the World Series. We've got our opponent. It's going to be a tough one. Look for the two-seated Louisville Cyclones champions of the Yankee Conference going against the Atlantic Drakes, the one-seed conference champions from the Confederate Conference. The World Series takes place on Saturday. Bearing no floods or volcanoes or anything else. But as always, thank you for watching. God bless. I will see you all next time. Good night, everybody. A very special thanks for these May Patreon supporters. If supporters were a bowling alley, I would roll my balls up and down them. Party Commissar, James Matisse, The Least Expected, Azur Rain, Cortez, Zachary McKinley, and Nicholas Absher.